been waiting for. Yes, they did confirm that we will be getting Harley Quinn on Gotham. Maybe not this season, but we are going to get some kind of proto Harley Quinn. And it is possibly somebody that has been on the show and that we care about already. I wonder who that could be. I mean, seriously, who could it be? It's not like they've had a white blonde lady on the show for two seasons. That they, They've had going crazy for two seasons and has also worked very closely with Jerome before and they did kind of a routine that the Harley Quinn and Joker thing would do in the show. I just don't know who they could be talking about that we might know already that could be Harley Quinn. Gotham, we need to talk. Look, I love you. Batman is my favorite character of all time. Joker is my favorite villain of all time. And I'm glad that you're doing something with those two characters. But look, if you make Barbara Keen, Harley Quinn, I think I'm gonna stop watching this show because don't fucking do it. Don't do it, Gotham. Do not ruin Harley Quinn by making her Barbara Kane or Keen, however the hell you say it in the show. Do not do that because Harley Quinzel was a person before she became Harley Quinn. She went to school for psychiatric therapy and then she went crazy. She wasn't crazy before she went crazy. I know you've secretly been trying to push this on the fans. Nobody wants her to be Harley Quinn, okay? She's not gonna be an amazing Harley Quinn. Don't do it. Yes, she's doing the whole crazy thing. We do not want, and I don't care if any of you other people want that. I'm speaking for everybody because nobody wants it, and I don't care if you do. I don't, I don't wanna agree with you. I do not want her to be Harley Quinn, and I know Gotham is probably like, man, you know what, we should make Barbara Harley Quinn. No, don't do it. Bring on another girl to be Harley Quinn and just start from scratch, all right? And now I know some of you guys are out there like, Juice, don't worry, man. It's way too early to get Harley Quinn. I don't think we're going to get Harley Quinn. You guys out there that believe in this whole, like, it's too early to do things need to stop because this show has already proven that they're not trying to go with the comics. You have to get in the mindset that instead of Batman creating the villains like he does in the comics, it's going to be the villains are going to create Batman. Batman. There are going to be so many villains that freaking Bruce Wayne's going to feel like he needs to do something to change his city and he's going to become Batman and that's how this show is going to end. It would be awesome if we get a whole season of him in the actual bat suit. Hopefully by the time that comes uh, we'll actually get Batman in a bat suit but I'm not going to hold my breath for that. But that doesn't mean that we can't get the Joker already or Harley Quinn or the Riddler or Penguin. We could have them full-blown characters in this show because you have Jim Gordon trying to fight all these people and eventually he'll just break and that is when Batman will come in to start saving the day. Look, if we're lucky, Gotham hires me and then we start writing my Jerome arcs that could easily cover two seasons with the theories I have. And I'm not talking about like he should be the only villain for two seasons. No, I'm saying the way I described the theory of Jerome returning and how you can make this character into the Joker could easily cover over the span of two seasons with with other villains intertwined into that. Hire me, Gotham. In that time, which would be two years from now or three years from now, you could have that Harley Quinn character from scratch, not Barbara. You could have this actually be a therapist in Arkham and we can start caring for her and be like, oh man, that is so awesome that she's caring for these other people. She could have interactions with Penguin, Riddler, and Ivy. She could have all of these interactions. It would be awesome for her to have an interaction with Ivy because if you've seen them in the comics, they have such an awesome relationship. And no, it's not an over-sexualized relationship where it's like, oh, two girls together. No, it's two women that love each other. That's what that is, people. Anyways, you should build the character of Harley Quinzel before you make Harley Quinn. And then in those two or three seasons that you do my my Jerome story, hire me Gotham. We build the legacy of the Joker. She's following that secretly somehow or whatever. 
And bada bing, bada boom, when he's in Arkham for half a season, that's when their relationship starts to build. She breaks him out somehow, and the freaking queen and king, they're actually prince and princess of Gotham, are born. Clown, prince, and princess, sorry. And you know what you do with Bruce Wayne in that two or three seasons that we're gonna start building these stories? You have him start becoming more of a detective than he already is. You have him at the end of, let's say, season five or four, at the end of season four, you have him leave Gotham by himself and he goes and trains with the freaking League of Assassins or whatever and then you can bring in the League of Assassins for a storyline, bring in Ra's al Ghul or whatever and you can do that storyline right there. Bruce goes off in a train and he can start doing stuff like himself without even being the Batman yet and he could just be getting into some trouble. We could start to see him fight some goons. It would be awesome. Hire me. Gotham. Side note, Gotham, don't steal my ideas and not hire me, man. That wouldn't be cool. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know what you think of all these new cast of characters in Gotham. Woo, do you think they're going to be good? Do you hate the Poison Ivy thing? Because I sure do. Let me know in the comments section down below. Guys and gals, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with all your Gothamites. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for all things nerdy and geeky on this channel. As always, guys, I'm your host, Juicebox. Remember, when you wake up in the morning, ask yourself something. I've had my daily dose of juice. See you guys next time. Bye!